Hello everyone, this is Frank Deming, the local business guy, and welcome to Marketing Solutions for Local Businesses, the podcast where you will discover all the latest and greatest digital marketing tools, tips, and strategies you will need to implement in order to stay ahead of your competition. Now, if you are not getting the results you are looking for from your from a digital marketing standpoint, then this podcast is for you. So without further ado, today's episode starts right now. Hello everyone and welcome to episode three of Marketing Solutions for Local Businesses. In today I have a very, very special topic for you. It's one of my favorite topics in the whole wide world. And that, and and I I know I'd probably say that a lot. I know you're probably thinking, well, Frank, you say that every week. I'm very passionate about marketing. I'm very passionate about digital marketing. And I'm especially very passionate about helping local businesses with their digital marketing, which is the reason why I got into business in the first place. So I guess you could, uh, Excuse me or understand that. <laughs> understand me for that. But anyway, today I want to talk to you about LinkedIn. I want to dive in a little deeper about LinkedIn. Now, last week I gave you some broad statements about you know six things that you, you six places where you can publish content, and that was very important. These are six places that you absolutely need to start thinking about placing content. But today, I want to dive into the number one uh, thing on that list last week, which was LinkedIn. And I'm going to tell you why. Uh, I'm not going to tell you why it's my favorite one. But in this podcast, in this episode, I am going to uh, give you eight ways to increase your visibility and engagement on LinkedIn. Because let's face it, without visibility, without um, any kind of engagement, you're really not utilizing that platform to its fullest. Um, I think it is probably the best platform. I mean, I use it to 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 crush it out there uh, for me. And I I just want to share with w- you know with you guys, my listeners, to how you can start crushing it, or at least start getting in. Uh, you know, start to 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 make some inroads or, or make put a dent in your marketing efforts within LinkedIn. So, uh, anywho, let's get into the content. So, like I said, eight re- eight ways to increase your visibility engagement on LinkedIn. Um, and and this is in no order at all. So uh, I'm just gonna list the eight, so that way you can um, uh, you, you know you can get f- uh, familiar with it. Incidentally, before I forget, um, I I wrote a blog post about this earlier earlier this year, and um, you can you know I'll I'll make sure to include the link to that blog post in the show notes. So if you want to get into some details, in case you just can't, uh, you know, some some people like to read stuff rather than listen to. So I just want to make sure that I share this data in different modalities. So let's go into it now. So. Um, one of the best things that I like uh, about uh, LinkedIn is that it does have the hashtagging facility, uh, you know, with it, and it it really helps you if you have the right hashtags. So, so the number one thing that you can use to increase your visibility and engagement in LinkedIn is to be intentional about the hashtag and you post. By intentional, I mean. Understand it. So you, once you write, the strategy I use is I write out a blog post uh, with an intention. I mean, when I write, write a blog post or a content on LinkedIn, I just don't write to write. I write with an intention. So I like to bring forth that intention in hashtags. So the rule of thumb with LinkedIn, it's not, I, I don't know how many guys are familiar with Instagram. Instagram loves hashtags. You can. You can just like bombard that thing with hashtags. And uh, LinkedIn is a little bit different. With LinkedIn, you 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 want to be a little bit more purposeful with the hashtags, and it, it likes to. When you have three, that's a sweet spot. The moment you start adding more than three, it starts losing its um, 
is uh, if oomph, if you will. So, so the rule of thumb with the hashtags are, you know, at least three. You want to have, a, you don't want to have less than three. You don't want to have more than three. So three is a good uh, point to have. And just be intentional with it. Make sure you read the post. Say, okay, what is, what's the intention of this hashtag that you want to add to this? How do you want to be found? So, and make, just make sure it's relevant. That's another thing that's important. Uh, the number two is to target engagement groups with your relevant content. So you got to look into the groups. A lot of people are not utilizing groups per, uh, correctly in LinkedIn. Maybe at some point I can bring in a LinkedIn expert that can talk about this so that you, you're hearing it from other people other than myself. But uh, just just when you when you're in groups, make sure that you you know that you target the groups that you can post relevant content about your own business and position yourself as an expert in that um, uh, in that uh, topic. So you want to when, when you do this, you just got to make sure that you know you're you're, you're making comments, you you're sharing. Um, Maybe articles within that group, et cetera, et cetera. So people start envisioning you as the go-to person, uh, not only in that group, but also in your industry. And doing it within the platform of LinkedIn is very, very powerful because it can go, I, I don't want to say it can go viral. Uh, I've never had a, a thing, uh, me personally, go viral on anything that I'm sharing, but it has uh, done had it has had an impact on other people's uh, results. Therefore, then them sending it to me as a uh, as a as a possibility to to then show me some other types of um, uh, of opportunities for me in my business because I was able to share certain things. So I would say that's a very good uh, uh, strategy to use. Uh, within LinkedIn, another another way that you can use link, LinkedIn effectively to get engagement is to share and respond to other people's content. So, a lot of times, people I, I've seen this so many times, and I don't understand why. You see something really good on LinkedIn, and you you know you have a voice to say about it, and you keep it within yourself. And you, I, I get it, you know, but sometimes if you see something good and you feel passionate about it, you think that it's a good, it's a good uh, piece of content, uh, a good piece of information, share with others, talk to people about it, point people to it. Hey, did you see this post by, you know, XYZ person? I think it was very impactful. What do you think? Things like that. That's going to increase a lot of engagement because what happens is then they will see something that you post. And they will return the favor. That's how that works. Um, another, the number four way to get engagement is you got to make frequent use of status updates. Um, you, you, in other words, what I'm trying to say by this is that um, you you have to always create relevant, useful content basically so all of the status updates that you see that that's going on um and 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 you you know you don't you don't really have to have like long content pieces you can have 250 word content pieces so you got to make frequent use of it so you got to the more frequent the more frequent you are the better it is for the algorithm of LinkedIn to pick up your content more and more often. Um, so more people see it, more people will share it, et cetera, et cetera. So you got to make frequent use of it. I, I can't tell you how many times I've seen people post um, and then they disappear and they start posting again and they disappear. Then it, it starts, you're, you're throwing off the, the algorithm. It starts thinking that you're probably not that serious about your business. Uh, or about your content, and so they don't they don't promote it as much. So and I, and I, and that's that's the reality of the situation here. 
So you, you want to make sure that you make frequent use of status updates. So, uh, you know, again, I'm not talking about the actual LinkedIn articles. I'm talking about the posts that you have. Um, and, you know, and, and make sure that it's, like I said, 250 words or less. Um, and also you want to make sure that it's, uh, that you have video on them as well. Because now LinkedIn have even the, uh, live. Um, so you can do live videos on it too. So that's another way of doing it. Um, so you also want to consider posting content that works. So here's what I mean by that. If you have some sort of content that um, uh, that asks for connections, um, you know, so you you post something that's going to give them something useful that works for them, and then just ask for a connection. So that is a very good way of engaging with your crowd and also increasing your connections. Um, that's a very uh, effective thing. I, I I know some of you are connected with me on LinkedIn. I'm, I'm sure you've seen me use this from time to time. I don't use, I'm not saying that you're going to do this every day, uh, but you know, every now and then is, is not a bad thing, especially when you know that the piece of content that you're pushing out is going to help a lot of your audience. Why not? You know, and 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 it's a it's not a bad it's not a bad strategy. You want to reply to your community. Again, going back to um, uh, point number three. Um, here in, in in point number six, you want to reply to your community as well. Um, point number three was more of a you know you want to share and respond. Um, here is le you know less of of sharing. This is just just replying. So if someone is asking you a question, because you will get questions. If you are active on LinkedIn, people will notice you and people will start asking questions. I I can guarantee this. The number one error I've seen a lot of people do because they're not on it often enough is they don't reply. You, there, you know, someone's asking them a pointed question on whatever post or even a direct email. Reply. Reply to these folks. They want to hear from you. There's, you know, maybe you made a comment on something and they want to, they want to hear. So you got to reply. So that's how it's different from sharing and respond to other people's content because other people's content is something that you're actually responding to their content. Number six is more of reply to your community. Your community is people who are already engaging with you. And if you ignore their, their questions or, or, or their comments, it's not really a good thing. You know, we want to create goodwill here. We want to give as much as we receive. Um, number seven is you want to post and repost frequently. Um, Reposting is is actually not a bad thing. Uh, I, I I have not. I'm I am going to say that I'm guilty of not reposting a lot. But whenever I do, and this is good, I'm making a note of this because I'm you know I, I, sometimes I forget myself. But when you had a post that got a lot of visibility, um, it doesn't hurt to repost. And state so in your post that it's a repost because you were, you know, maybe maybe you put a different angle to it. Maybe you want to send it to um, a different set of people. You know, perhaps you're going to repost this in an article format. So maybe the first version of this post was just a regular 250 word post. So now the second version, you've got more information. You want to expand on it. So now you're going to make it into an article, a LinkedIn article. So reposting is not a bad idea, you know. Um, so that's that, that's what I mean by that. And eight, last but not least, the eight way that you're going to get more engagement within the LinkedIn platform is, is really simple. You got to end with a call to action. 
I can't tell you how many times I have seen great pieces of content out, put out there uh, for everyone to consume and enjoy, and unfortunately was left out without a call to action, you know, a way to get in contact with you. And, and, it, and it's not pushy. It's not a, something that's heavy. It's a simple thing like, hey, if you enjoyed this post, this article, or whatever, uh, and, and you would like to see more of this, give us a call at blah, 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 or simply fill out this form and someone will contact you. Something like that. It, it's nothing big. It's, it's a non-invasive way of doing it. And if you consistently have call to actions uh, on your post, you would start getting more engagement. That's guaranteed. I mean, it's, it's, it's just a rule of thumb. That's just the way it works here. All right. So uh, that about ends this episode of Marketing Solutions for Local Businesses. Um, I would love to extend an invitation for you guys to, to visit our website, which is www lbmsllc.com uh, and if there's anything on there that, 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 that you have questions about feel free to fill out one of our forms on them we have many forms in there you want to talk to one of the social media specialists or what have you you know we'll, we'll get back to you that's not a problem at all um, also if you are thinking of of um, of of different ways. I mean, they're, they're, these are the eight ways that I think that have been working for me. Uh, if you think of a different way that maybe it's worked for you, I'd love to hear it too. You know, so reach out to us on our website, and you know, you know, it, it, we'd like to try different marketing things. This, these are just the eight ways that has worked for us here at Local Business Marketing Solutions, and you know, hey, we'd love to hear from you as well. So with that. This is going to end uh, this week's episode of Marketing Solutions for Local Businesses. Uh, I wish you guys nothing but the very best, and I'll see you guys next week. Take care, and bye for now. This has been another episode of Marketing Solutions for Local Businesses, the podcast where you will discover all the latest and greatest digital marketing tools, tips, and strategies you will need to implement in order to stay ahead of your competition. Don't forget, you will be able to grab any links that were mentioned in this broadcast in the show notes. Incidentally, if you would like to be a guest in our show, Simply send an email to podcast at lbmsllc.com or visit our website at www.lbmsllc.com forward slash contact us. And let us know the topic that you would like to share with our audience. With that said, folks, I wish you nothing but the very best. Until our next episode, make it a successful digital marketing day. Peace out.